I'm Kristen with Pikes Peak Library District. Today is part of our mythology theme with the summer adventure program. This year we are going to be making rowan berry brooch. Rowan berries were traditionally used in Scottish folklore to ward off evil. And for this project you are going to just need some small beads and I would suggest you know reddish dark pink berry colors. Um, and then you are going to want some wire, and I suggest very thin wire because you're going to want to be able to manipulate this wire really easily for this project. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to create the stem base before we put the beads on it. So what you're going to do is take the wire and you're just going to fold up and down a few times just like this and you'll kind of want to make sure that it stays even on both sides every time you fold you want to make sure that the new fold is pretty even with the next one Okay, and so this should be plenty for what we want to do. Actually, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to come down. Okay, and then at the very at the end part, you're going to pick one part, and you're going to take the wire, and you're actually going to bring it, twist it completely around one side like that, and then with this top part, we are going to fan out all of these that we just folded. So, it should look like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to make kind of little folds with each of these strands. And you want to make sure that the ones where you were folding, they have a loop. You want to make sure to go ahead and squeeze those really tight together. Okay. And so, we're going to kind of make just some back and forth folds like that. And we're going to do that with every single one of them. Okay, so you should have something kind of like that. doesn't have to be completely perfect. Um, you're going to kind of mess with it once you put the beads on anyways. So you'll have some room to kind of mess around with how you want it to look. Okay, so we're going to take the first one and you're just going to start placing some beads on. So I'm going to see if I can do like four beads on each one. And so I'm going to start with it like that. Now at the top you're going to want to make some type of fold where the beads cannot fall back off. Kind of like that. Now is what I did on this one I already made is I kind of folded in such a way that the beads aren't touching each other if you can see that. And so that's what we're going to do on this one is we're going to try to, again, this is where you can kind of go back, mess with the folding a little bit. We want to do something like that. See, they're not touching right there. And it's okay if they do touch. But something like that. There we go. And that's just one of them. And so you're going to do that with all of the rest that you have. And again, you want to make sure these are squeezed really well so that the beads can get on them.
Actually, I'm going to take some pliers to tighten that. There we go, that should work. All right. Another thing you can do too is if you want to do the folds before, like after each individual bead, instead of putting them all on at once and then making some folds, you can also do that as well. Okay, and then again at that top, you want to try to make some kind of a fold so that the beads cannot slip right back off like it just did. Something like that. Okay, and there's my second one. Okay, two more to go. Okay, so I have finished mine, and again, once you have this complete, you can move them around, kind of how you, how you would like it to look. Alright, and then there we have it, a Rowan Berry brooch. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Check out our channel for more projects like this.